So I literally just got done finishing up a reading and I was shuffling the cards, putting them away, and a bunch of cards fell out. So I'm going to go with it because I feel like it's connected to the one I just recorded. Depending on how long this one is, I may record this one before the other one. It was very heavy in narcissism and stuff like that. And of course, narcissists came out again. And we had some signs that came out sideways. So this is now near future energy of what signs are dealing with um, a situation here. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water sign, and an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So we have a water sign and an air sign that's connected. They are in their honeymoon phase att or attending someone's wedding. So they're in their honeymoon phase now, but something is not going to work out. I'm sorry to say. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. But um, tell the universe exactly what you want. Manifest is in the reverse. So this is, you know, someone's in their honeymoon stage now as far as a relationship goes, but it's not what someone truly wants. This is not um, a good match, a good connection. Something is not going to go the way they thought it is. Luck is on your side in the reverse. This is yes, so this is a no. So something is not going to be what somebody wanted. They're in the honeymoon stage now, so things could be going great. The problem is if someone's a narcissist and they're very full of themselves and they have some healing to do. <clears throat> they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Someone could be trying to get free or someone's going to have to set themselves free. I will not be intimidated in the reverse. And there's no crying in baseball. So somebody could have tried to use intimidation tactics, a narcissist. And when that didn't work, they could have resorted to emotionally manipulative tactics. So intimidation, fear... Threatening didn't work, so somebody switched gears and then they went over to the emotional manipulation side of things. So they got what they wanted, they're, they're paired up with someone, they're in the honeymoon stage, but um, the person who has hooked up with this narcissist, um, you know, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but this is not what you want and it's not going to end well, okay? So, let's get in here and see what's going on. So somebody was really dark, their their cover fell off, their cover was blown, um, you know, their disguise fell off. So somebody was really dark and their disguise fell off where it's going to, okay? So this is that karmic energy, that narcissist energy. Somebody's true colors are going to be showing through. Yeah, and someone's going to have to set themselves free from this situation. They may be in the honeymoon stage or they're heading towards the honeymoon stage, but, you know, nothing ever lasts forever. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone is just trying to hurt another person. Because someone could be backing out of something. Someone could be married. Someone could be wanting a divorce. So this could be a married couple. This could be a newlyweds. Maybe you've been married for a while or somebody's going to want to back out of a marriage. Somebody could have said, oh, let's get married or let's work this out. And someone's backing out because somebody just wanted to hurt another person. Or there's some sort of pain caused by somebody saying, hey, I want out of this. So there could have been some sort of marriage and somebody said, I want to get, you know, I want to file for a divorce or something like that. And so somebody could have used, you know, fear tactics, emotional manipulation there's a feminine energy here in the reverse. There's going to be an ending to something. A mother figure could have been involved in a situation. Somebody that was trying to help. So there's a feminine energy here who is not innocent. An empress in the reverse. And something is over. There's a tower moment, an ending for this person. And they involved their mother to help them do something. So there's a feminine energy here in the reverse. That enlisted the help of a... a an older feminine energy, a mature woman, it could be a mother figure or somebody they view as a mother figure. So they could have been taking advice from a mother figure, but there's two feminine energies here and they were getting help from this person. <clears throat> and they think that everything's said and done. Um, they're sitting back waiting on some sort of result. So there could be some sort of result or somebody is very confident and cocky. You know, I'm just getting the energy here from this card. My work here is done. You know, he's buttoning up his shirt. He's like, yep, my work here is done. We're good. Um, so somebody could have been being coached by a mother figure or being helped with a mother figure on how to manipulate someone. Um, so they maybe they're both narcissists. Uh, both of these feminine could be narcissistic. <clears throat> So 
so once again there's a feminine energy here who tried to appear innocent um you know like oh i would never do that to you somebody could have said something was a misunderstanding that that's just not who they are um they want to get help they're not a bad person um there's something shocking about this person um there's some sort of shocking news regarding a couple or a married couple there's something shocking that happened between them or that's going to happen between them mm, i'm hearing danger danger um so there's some sort of altercation there's something shocking that's going to be happening regarding a married couple and it could be in the form of like a divorce separation or something really bad could just be happening between this couple for a while. Oh, use it up, wear it out, make it do. Our labor and goods are fighting. So somebody could be trying to make the best out of a bad situation. They're trying to make do with what they have. They're trying to be resourceful let them have it extra war bond so it's like somebody just keeps taking a beating after a beating hopefully not a physical one but it's like someone's just trying to make the best out of something they could feel stuck don't let anything happen to them keep them firing so there could be something significant about children somebody could have threatened someone with a child or children or family somebody could be afraid of losing their children so someone is putting up with some shit just because there are children involved in a situation but it's like they're they're just so tired of it it's like every time they turn around they're getting hit with another torpedo or something bad is happening or there's another fight or altercation but somebody tried to use some sort of tactics using children they could have threatened them um, and then they turn to the emotional side. Well, you can see your kid whenever you want. If we're together, you can be a, you know, a father or a mother figure, whatever. Um, but somebody could have used children as a bargaining tool to keep somebody attached to them. And someone's just doing the best they can to act, like put up with it, to struggle to get through it. you too would want the best so somebody wants what's best for their children right and so somebody thinks that staying in a relationship um you know and let's be our own ins ins inspectors is on the bottom of that card so it's like somebody's trying to work with somebody possibly without getting some sort of outside help they're trying to keep everything hush hush quiet um it's like well we want what's best for the kids even if it means we're gonna like kill each other in the process um but they're trying to make the best out of a bad situation so there could have been some sort of fight or altercation where there was a split up at one time. There could have been an attempted reconciliation regarding the situation. And you know, not every message is for every person because I've had some messages come out recently where there is going to be a reconciliation. It's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a beautiful thing. In some of these cases, um, when someone tries to work things out with somebody, it's going to end up very badly and it's just a very toxic situation. So, you know, unfortunately and fortunately, not every message is for every person. Um, so, you know, you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. He's watching you in the reverse. So somebody was being watched. Somebody could have been being watched because of some sort of allegations made about a child or children. So somebody could have been under investigation, seventh now altogether in the reverse. So there could have been a family, a group of people here. Um, you know, I don't know how many people here. It could be up to seven people that were watching um, a person and their family. 
um, it's like they're trying to catch someone slipping or abusing a child or children or something. There could have been allegations regarding some sort of child abuse or child neglect. Um, so like I said, somebody could have used fear tactics or something like that to try to keep attached to somebody. So some sort of false allegations could have been made regarding someone. And so an, an entire family, up to seven people, could be being watched as well. It doesn't necessarily mean that seven people were watching. Um, it could be up to seven people being watched. And this could include extended family as well. They've got more important places to go than you. Save rubber, check your tires now. So somebody could be having car issues, car troubles. Um, someone's trying to deal with one problem right after another. Somebody may have used um, mechanical issues or something like that to try to attach themselves to someone or stay stuck. Um, like if the children, if threatening with the children didn't work, somebody could have started having car problems. Um, and so that they needed rescued, that's part of that emotional manipulative tactic. So someone's going to, I'm hearing stage, it doesn't have to be staged or it could have just been the luck of the draw, I guess, or a coincidence, but, um, somebody could have had car issues or car trouble and they needed rescued, which is somebody using that manipulation, um, because they can't live on their own. They can't do something on their own and they need to be taken care of they want to be taken care of you know that kind of thing so this person is just using like all kinds of tricks to try to keep somebody stuck in a relationship that they don't want to be in and this could even be a marriage and somebody just wants to get out but they want what's best for their children and so they're trying to make the best out of this but it's getting really difficult Assume the attitude and thirsty. So someone is getting an attitude. Someone could be accusing another person of lusting or thirsting after another person. So not only is there, you know, accusations made about children and emotionally manipulative tactics. Now there's accusations here. Um, someone was not cool. Coolness is a curse. Someone could have low self-esteem issues. Um, someone's just not as cool. They feel bad about themselves and they could be comparing themselves to somebody that they feel like their partner is attracted to. So somebody could be accused of having some sort of fling or affair. This could have been an affair that somebody was accused with having with an ex-person um, or a co-worker or somebody that they know. Somebody's friend. So somebody could have used their friend or um, accused somebody of um, being with somebody um, who was their friend. Someone could be spending a lot of time in isolation and there's a big transformation coming. This could be for a feminine energy um, or because of a feminine energy. So somebody could be spending a lot of time alone or in isolation, just reflecting and thinking and contemplating. There was some sort of message that was not sent or that somebody did not receive from a friend. So somebody could have intercepted some sort of message or a friend could have sent a message and it was misinterpreted. So somebody could have gotten accused of sleeping with a friend because of a message and someone has low self-esteem so they were comparing themselves to this person anyway um so i mean it could have been an effort of somebody trying to co-parent with another person as well and so somebody could have gotten accused of sleeping with somebody that they were already involved with there's some reflection going on there's a lot of reflection and there's some reflection about a transformation that somebody has gone through so Maybe um, one of these people were in some sort of communication. 1010 could be significant um, with somebody, and there's some sort of change or transformation that happened. And so somebody could have been communicating back and forth, and something was misinterpreted. But some 
the person that was accused of doing something with this person has been reflecting about this person so they know them or they're on friendly terms they could be reflecting on the changes that this person has made or a transformation that they've gone through if they bring this person up the person that they're married to will become very upset or the person that they're married to keeps bringing this person up and it's just making them think about this other person more and more so it's kind of happy, having the opposite effect of whoever this is that's accusing the other person. The more they bring this person up, the more they're actually thinking about them and realizing the changes and transformation they've gone through. Meanwhile, they're stuck in hell trying to make the best out of a bad situation. So it's actually kind of pushing them to think about things that maybe they wouldn't have been thinking about ordinarily regarding... Um, you know, the breakup of this situation. So even though they're in their honeymoon stage, or <clears throat> this could be one of those breakup to make up kinds of things where, um, you know, it's really bad and then it's okay for a minute. Um, okay, well, it's okay for a minute, but then when it gets really bad again, it's like when it gets bad, that person that, you know, they're married to, it's like the more they accuse them, the more they actually start thinking about this other person and the more attractive they're actually becoming to them. And don't shoot the messenger. I'm just reading the energy here. I'm just reading the cards. saying it anything is justified one way or the other i'm just the messenger Something can be regenerated. Something is not growing. This relationship is just... <clears throat> this marriage, this union has been through the ringer. Whether you're, you know, um, married by law or you view yourselves as married. I know some people call each other their husband and wife even if there's no legal, you know, paperwork to back it up. Whatever this situation is, okay? If it resonates for you, it resonates. Um, but something is not growing. Something can't grow back. Too much damage has been done in a situation. Somebody wants to create something new. And they're being inspired by this other person. Um, I don't want to accuse them of being a third party. Because someone is exhibiting a, a, a ridiculous amount of strength and courage to deal with this. Um, they are not straying. They're not going towards a third party. But this person is making it... Um, more appealing to this person but there's a lot of strength going on so someone's strength that another person is admiring is also it's inspiring to them so even though someone is having the strength and courage to not stray from their relationship or cheat on their spouse someone is being inspired inspired by someone's strength and courage because they see another person and it could be the person they were communicating with that gone through a transformation it's like okay well this person's going through so much stuff how are they getting through this and so they see your strength in the change the rebirth here um you know with the moth here and something isn't protected somebody feels like they can't protect their child or something if they're not with this person so one of these people in this relationship could be abusive towards their children, like legitimately. And the other parent feels like if they're not with this person, that maybe their child will get hurt if they're not with them. And so somebody is staying in a relationship to protect their child and make sure they're taken care of. Even though they may or may not have been accused, some, even though they could have been falsely accused of being a bad parent, the other parent could be the real danger. And so... The person who may or may not have been falsely accused may be staying in this relationship because they're afraid of what will happen to their child if they leave. And, you know, I'm not making excuses. I'm just, you know, to stay in a shitty relationship or situation. But someone, someone knows that something isn't growing, something can't be healed or fixed, but they're concerned about protecting their child. 
Four children. There is going to be a reason to celebrate. Or someone is celebrating. Maybe they feel like they've won. There's a tower moment because someone is not getting the new start, the new beginning that they thought they were going to get. So there is going to be a tower moment. There is going to be ultimately um, a breakup of this situation at some point. It's just something being drug out longer than it really needed to be. So something is being strung along or prolonged. <clears throat> Someone could have lost a lot of money with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Something is not growing. Someone cannot manifest. Someone is losing money. The longer this they stay in this relationship, every fight they get in, every allegation, um, you know, if there's court dates, fees, whatever, Someone is losing money the longer they stay in this relationship because someone is just draining them constantly. It's like they're, they're paying money out because somebody is evil and they have some sort of dark obsession or addiction. It could be even a spending habit. Somebody who is hurt could be using like spending um, or shopping or something. Someone is using an addiction or obsession to try to fill a void that they have. And it could be even that they're turning to dark practices. So they could be buying like, and I'm not saying anything against people who buy stuff, but um, <clears throat> if they've turned to the darker side of things and they've realized they don't have divine protection, they could be ordering a lot of um, like witchy stuff or like, I don't want to, I don't want to say witchy stuff because, you know, like there's such a crossover with spirituality, just like religions, you know, people use different things for different reasons, but it's like someone is spending an exorbitant amount of money on items to do spell work uh, you know like um like witchcraft stuff but like everything can be considered witchcraft so i i hate to put it like that but it's like somebody is becoming overly obsessed with trying to protect themselves it's like somebody's spending money like i don't know if it's like amazon whatever someone's getting on the internet they're spending a significant amount of money there could be a lot of packages getting delivered but the thing is is it's for dark intent and they're trying to fill a void that they can't fill with material possessions and it doesn't have to necessarily be that but i am seeing that in a specific instance here for somebody um you know, like, I mean, I have, you know, rocks and stones and stuff like that here, but someone is going overboard with that. Like someone is buying things like excessively to the, to a ridiculous amount. And this couple could already be struggling financially. So it's just putting more strain on the marriage, but it makes this person feel better. So they're going to keep doing it. And they're a narcissist and they don't care what this other person thinks. They feel like they're entitled to it, even if it's not their own money they're spending. Even if the spouse is the primary breadwinner, somebody thinks they're entitled to spend their money as if it were their own and not really care about the consequences. And so this is just, uh, it's, it's, um, it's a build up to a big explosion and a big tower moment. told you <laughs> there's a big tower moment somebody was putting barriers in another person's path by creating emotional situation after emotional situation somebody's barrier that's standing in their path is their own self their own emotions that they need to heal from they need to go take time be by themselves and heal themselves but they feel like they're not capable of it so they could depend on substances they could smoke um mary jane they could be doing other substances drinking heavily something they depend on other things and other people to fill the void. So something traumatic happened to them, maybe since childhood, maybe in adulthood. Um, but something traumatic happened to them and their barriers are stemming from their own emotions and the emotional situations that they creep, keep creating for themselves. And they're projecting those feelings onto their spouse and using them as a crutch and it's just it's just too much for this person for this person they're married to um because someone sees a high priestess as their ten of cups there's a high priestess here that would be this person's happiness their ten of cups and the more this person they're attached to does these things the closer that that person wants to become with the person they're meant to be with that would actually make them happy the person that's inspiring them that um 
has this aura of calmness and peace about them and not conflict. So the more conflict and drama that this person creates, the more that person wants to go towards their Ten of Cups, their real Ten of Cups. And they're reflecting about this. They're thinking about it. You know, something is stuck. You know, they're reflecting. They're taking a moment. And the more that they think about it, the more that they want this situation than the situation they're trapped in now. So, I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, that's just the situation. Children are definitely involved, so someone is concerned about children. Children are definitely involved, like I said. In the next 9 to 12 months, somebody could be approaching you and tell you that they found it again with you, that they've been thinking about you, that they want you. You could be the high priestess. This could be what's going on with somebody that wants to come towards you. When I read energy, this can be... Even if it's not your message, this could be going, this is going on with somebody that could be around you or connected to you. They want to tell you the truth. They're telling you the truth. If this person comes to you um, and you're the high priestess, you know, that this person sees the Ten of Cups with, they've been, they're not taking this lightly. They've made a decision. They've been thinking about this for the long, you know, the longest time. Um... This isn't something that they just jumped into when they come towards you. There are children involved, so it is taking a lot longer to do something than, you know. Everything's in divine timing, so obviously we want things to happen quickly, but it doesn't always happen the way or in the time frame that we think it should. Someone was desperate. Okay, they're being controlled by spirits and they're pissing everybody off. So that could be going on now. Like I said, they're pushing everyone away. They're self-harming, like, or possibly threatening to self-harm. That's another emotionally manipulative tactic that somebody is using. Um, the threatening of unaliving themselves. They're trying to use sex, um, you know, um, doing stuff like that to try to control this person but the more this person acts out the less that the person they're married to or whoever they're with the, the less they want to be connected to this person especially in a sexual way so i mean the cord cutting is going to be needed this person blames you so if you're the the high priest or priestess in this situation and you're just you know like, on the outskirts, minding your own, just living your life, someone is blaming you even though you have nothing to do with this. And you're not suffering because you're not, you're not even a part of this. You're like an unwilling participant that this person keeps trying to drag you into. And you don't even know what's going on with this situation. This person pretends to have similar religious beliefs as you, but they pra may practice different, and they're doing spiteful, baneful working. So, like I said, if someone is doing, like, you know, like, legit witchcraft or whatever, when they're buying these things, they're not just buying something for protection. They're buying things to intentionally do spell work to cause harm to someone, and they're doing it out of spitefulness. So... You know, they really don't have similar religious beliefs than you. I mean, like I said, there's an overlap with spirituality, just like there is in religion, like Wicca, you know, all whatever it is. Um, there are so many different forms of spirituality, but this person is doing something out of spitefulness and vengefulness and not for the greater good, you know, and they could be doing this to somebody who doesn't deserve it. And when you do that, the backlash is it's they're not gonna like what's about to happen i mean i don't I, that's just what it is i'm sorry <clears throat> i'm sorry but not sorry and they went broke doing this they went broke and they need money so they're going to go broke because of what they're doing 
they're under an illusion and they're lying. So if this person reads cards or anything like that, like if, if they're into a lot of spiritual stuff, they could be doing, trying to get readings on you or doing readings and they're lying about you, what you're doing, what you're up to. And this person doesn't even have access to your energy because whoever you are, you're the high priestess. You know how to shut that shit down, right? You know how to protect yourself. You don't let anyone play around in your energy. Um, you know, but someone's trying to get readings on you, and first of all, they're not accurate, but someone's lying about the information that they're doing. They may not even be gifted to read cards, okay? But someone is reading cards as if it's the truth, and they don't even know how to read them, and they're trying to read someone else's energy that they don't have permission to do that for, and someone's just getting in trouble really badly, and this is just not going to end well. I'm sorry. If this is someone that your divine counterpart is dealing with, the karmic that um, your divine counterpart has to separate from, this is a very bad, toxic, toxic, toxic relationship. And this person may not ever tell you about it, or um, up until this point, like maybe if you connect, maybe they will, but... Um, yeah, they're not really telling you what's going on behind the scenes. They're keeping everything hush-hush. And that's because this person is private. They don't advertise their business. But, um, yeah, this, this person that they're with, the narcissist, is making things as difficult as possible. And they're going to keep this going for as long as possible. Someone is afraid of his or her own shadow. Somebody could be doing, like I said, spell work. They lied about you. They could be sending spell work to you to make you afraid, to make you scared. Um, as if it's like punishment for talking to somebody. Um, I'm telling you, you, you all got to be careful with that shit. It's, don't be stupid. There's something significant about a cancer in the fall. Somebody's spell work could have backfired and they could be scared. They could be afraid to be alone. They could be hearing things, seeing things experiencing things when you do that spell work and you call and i've literally just heard this um today on tiktok and it, it really is true with this moon thing that's coming up today um you better not be summoning deities and spirits and shit that first of all you can't control and you don't know how to get rid of just because you think something is your friend doesn't mean it is okay so somebody here is dabbling in shit that they may be not shouldn't be and now they're afraid of their own shadow because of something they did either to a cancer or they're a cancer in the fall. So don't let that go over your head. Uh, be careful about what you do. And, you know, spirits and deities and shit, they don't have to do what you tell them to do. You're not their fucking boss. So keep that shit in mind too. You're not actually in control of shit. That's why people get possessed and bad things can happen. Um, and these spirits and these things can literally drive you crazy and make you feel like you're crazy and to the point to unalive yourself or harm other people. And someone is going to be afraid of his or her own shadow. So someone is in fear or they're moving towards this because of whatever stuff they're doing. Um, it's backfiring. And the love spells and shit, the more that they try to do to stay attached to this person... The more it's pushing them away, but it's making them obsessed to the point where this person may um, ultimately unalive themselves. Um, and December could be significant, so something could have happened in the fall and December. So something could have happened multiple times. Somebody could have repeated something. So they could have done something in the fall and then again in December because they felt like it wasn't working. So they doubled down on this, whatever this situation was. They, they doubled down. March could be significant as well, so um, they could be doing this again in March. So it's like it's like they just keep repeating something over and over and over again. Someone ripped someone else off, or they feel like they ripped someone else off, and you know you're you could be being silent, you could be keeping something quiet. Someone's praying for a Hail Mary pass, so somebody ripped you off, and they're keeping it quiet about what they did or how they ripped you off. Or they did this to your counterpart. Someone ripped another person off and they're keeping quiet about it. Or they ripped someone else off and they haven't spoken out about it. But someone's going to be crying out for a Hail Mary pass. Someone's going to be asking for mercy, begging for mercy. 
Because this was the blind leading the blind. I'm telling you, be careful about the shit you dabble into because someone was wanting to be a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. But there was dull as dishwater and the law could be getting involved. So not only could they have been doing like spiritual work on somebody, um, they could have been doing something illegally or somebody did something illegally. This could be even in the form of like cleaning out someone's bank account that they were not supposed to have access to. So somebody could have been accessing someone's financial records or money or something and stole money from someone even though they're married the someone may not have been on the account and someone still may have like cleaned that out so be careful about that i would keep your debit cards keep your information whatever keep that all put away um i feel like when somebody knows that this is going to end someone could be wiping out someone's bank account and leaving them in a very bad situation so just be careful about that okay Somebody thought something would be, you know, easier, easy as one, two, three, or easier said than done. So something was easier said than done. And it could be healing or moving forward. Um, but someone is going, yeah, by hook or crook. So there's a thief here. Somebody that stole something that thought that they would just get away with it and there would be no consequences for whatever they did. But the other person here, someone's moving forward and they're going towards their happily ever after it's not with this person it is not with this narcissist this narcissist is going to destroy whoever this is like emotionally and financially like everything like emotionally just like everything all because they wanted attention 15 minutes of fame they were not a team player fast blast from the past they were trying to stop someone from teaming up with somebody from their past so that could have been who their spouse was communicating with, possibly co-parenting with someone else or something like that. They were as white as a sheet to find out that someone may have been thinking about partnering up with someone. And they were like, no, 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 no. We're going to work this shit out and I'm going to use every tactic under the sun. So they could have separated for a while. And when someone found out that they were communicating with somebody else, um, even if it was just casual conversation, um, this person was like, oh, hell no. Um, and then they showed up at the door. There's a wolf at the door. And they backed this person up against the wall with backup against the wall. So they came barreling in trying to control and bully their way around. And it's, I mean, okay, it may work for a minute, but this is all going to come crashing down in a huge tower moment. Like, it's really not going to be good. Because this person opened up a whole can of worms by stealing something or taking something that didn't belong to them. Or attempting to. And it doesn't have to be money. It could be anything. Someone's going to end up in a state of poverty rags to riches some they're going to lose a lot of money someone's going to lose a significant amount of money because another person's going to rip them off because somebody was being slippery as an eel when it came to a long lost love somebody was ugly as sin so somebody was very jealous of somebody's long lost love or somebody that they were meant to be with um and this person was not one in a million. They couldn't compare to whoever this long lost love was. So they became ugly as sin. And then they started lying and doing manipulative stuff. And they could have ripped their spouse off to stop this person from going towards another person. But absence makes the heart grow fonder. Someone is thinking about the person they're meant to be with the longer they stay in this situation. So keep that in mind. All right, person, place, or thing. The letter O could be significant. A. Y. B. Someone could have some body odor. Someone may not be showering or taking care of themselves. Oh, a boy could be significant. So one of the children they have, maybe a boy or a son could be significant. Or someone saying, ah, boy or oh, boy, because someone's B.O. is just bad V.
shaving the armpits could be significant as well. Someone may need to take a razor to that shit. And someone may need some of that summer's eve too. Uh, I'm just seeing like someone needs to be taken out back and like hosed down. <laughs> B. Baba. Um, someone could call um, someone Baba. I, I know that I think that means father in some languages. I. S. I'll do one more. And F. So I have I S B F B O V N A Y N O. I hope this helps. Have a good day.